Hello, this video will give a technologist a brief training of the OnePax system. The OnePax system is used to distribute medical images from your facility to a radiologist so that the radiologist can report on the study. Studies can be pushed or forwarded from your PAX or modality into the OnePax system. Once in the OnePax system, authorized users, such as radiologists, can view the images and report on the study. Once the study is read, the report is made back available to you. To start, open an internet browser and direct it to web.onepax.com. This will bring the user to the login screen. Here, you can bookmark this page. To log in, enter your username and password and click login. If you have forgotten your password, you can use the Forgot Your Password link. To change your password, select the Options menu and then User Preferences. Next, select the Change Password button at the bottom of the screen. Enter your current password and then enter your new password Finally, enter your new password again in the Confirm Password box. Click Save to change your password. This is the OnePax work list. It shows a collection of studies you have stored to the OnePax system. Studies enter the OnePax system when you push them from your modality or packs into the OnePax gateway. You can also upload studies from the web by selecting Options and Upload Studies. This study upload feature is useful to upload a CD or DVD that a patient may bring in. Insert the CD into the computer and press the Upload CD DVD button and confirm that you'd like to upload the study. The study will upload and be viewable on your work list. Close the study upload window when it is finished. The study will be marked as in transmission while one PAX processes the study. Other studies might be marked as ready to read, read, disregarded, or for comparison. The work list toolbar gives a lot of information about a study. You can see the study status or if the study is stat. And get quick previews of study notes, the images, and patient history. The toolbar also provides access to study files and a quick link to view the study or to confirm the study for interpretation. You can also search for a particular patient or study from the work list. You can find a study by date and time or search for a patient by entering the patient name. Other search fields are also available from the drop-down list. We can remove the filter by removing the search text. On the right we have the ability to search by study status. For example, we could find all red cases by unselecting all the study statuses except for red. We can also filter on confirmation state. For example, we could find all studies that need to be confirmed yet by unselecting everything except for the unconfirmed checkbox. You can get a quick view of the study's images by selecting the View Study icon. Select the series that you'd like to view and scroll through the images. You may also view a diagnostic report from the OnePax work list. Hover over the View Report icon to get a quick glimpse of what the report says, otherwise click it to open the full report. Studies should be confirmed so that the reading radiologist knows that a diagnostic report is necessary. Click on the question mark icon of the study to start the confirmation process. From here, the study may be marked as STAT. The patient and study demographics can be confirmed. 
and you can enter some patient history and notes in the available field. You can add study related documents by clicking on the Attach Study Documents button. Click File and then Add. Browse to find the file that you'd like to attach and click Open. Click the Upload button to upload. Next, select the physician that ordered the study. You can use the Add, Edit, and Delete buttons to manage the ordering physicians. You can also select and unselect report destinations to determine where the report will be sent when the radiologist completes it. Studies can be confirmed for interpretation or as a comparison study or disregarded if they shouldn't have been sent into the system. Click the Confirm for Interpretation button to confirm that this study needs a report. Note the question mark icon turns into a green checkbox when the study has been confirmed for reporting. This tells the radiologist that the study is ready to read. A lock on the study indicates it is being read or assigned. When the radiologist completes the report, the View Report icon will appear. Again, you can click on the View Report icon to view the report of the study. From here, the report can be exported as a PDF document, a Word document, or printed. You can use study notes to communicate about a particular study. Click on the study notes icon to flag a study as either red or blue. The meaning of these flags is left to your facility and the reading radiologist. From the study note menu, you can also create a new text note about the study. Click save to save your note. Click the close button to return to the work list. Study notes can be quickly viewed by hovering over the study notes icon. Study related files can be viewed by selecting the study files icon and finding the correct file. Press the close button to return to the work list. Click on the directory link at the top of the screen to open a window that contains contact information. This information can be used by radiologists or other users of the system to contact your facility. You may have the ability to edit this information by clicking on the Edit button. Click on the Close button to return to the work list. Clicking on the Info link at the top of the screen will open some general information about the system. It may also contain additional contact information for the system rather than your facility. Click the Close button to return to the work list. The Messages link at the top of the screen will give you the ability to contact other users of the system. To start, select the Compose button and select the users that you'd like to include. Enter a subject line and a body of the message. Attachments can also be used by selecting the Browse button and attaching a document. Press the Send button to send your message. The link at the top of the page will indicate when you have new messages by turning red. Click on the Messages link to open your new messages. Click on a message to see the details in the panel below. Press the Close button to return to the work list. If you have Java installed on this computer, you can also use the Java Viewer to view the study. This can also be used to burn a CD or DVD. Right-click on the study from the work list and select View and Java Web Viewer CD DVD Burner. The study will be opened in the viewer. You can burn this study to a CD or DVD by selecting the Save Export menu item. Next, select the Burn CD DVD Locally option, followed by the Burn Current Study item. An additional download may be required the first time you burn a CD or DVD. Additional documentation for the OnePack system is available under the Help and Online Documentation menu. Click Log Out to log out of the system. This concludes this brief tutorial for a technician on the OnePack system. More help and documentation can be found at the listed website.